Hey guys, how's it going? Today, um, it's a little bit different. It's gonna be on an only interaction session. That's right. Woohoo! So it's going to be an only interaction session. I'm going to only talk with you guys. I know it might be kind of boring. But for that reason, I've kept this little box. I'm not sure if I will keep it in the, during the editing, but it's kind of interesting. <laughs> anyway, so today we are going to talk about um, if Microsoft, the company, of course you know that. Let me show you. Of course you know about the amazing um, Word and Excel. Now, if you don't know, what are you even doing here? Like, seriously. I mean, that is one of the easiest and best and most necessary thing to know. Like, I'll just um, search for it. Office. Wait, why is the look on? Is that, is that how it works? Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Anyway, um, let's search Microsoft Office and let me show you. This is the logo, Microsoft Office Word 2007. So, um, let's start. So, can Microsoft just come to your home and view and see if you have pirated software or not now mostly it really first thing let's talk about it from the legal side legally nobody can just like budge into your home and open a computer up and then check for software no it's illegal we, I'll explain the whole thing just don't pause the video right now because that's not the whole thing it is legal but if you come with permission from the court and with the police if you do that then it is legal but um, in this case like I'll explain you I'll give you an example of a case but not now so now like you can check for pirated software now I for one of course I don't have pirated software but and some people they who are not IT geeks just said they have just started computers they will not be knowing even the meaning of pirated software software I don't mean to like underestimate you or something who just started that so, um, uh, like if you have, for example, Windows 10, I have Windows 10 home single language. Now I, this is actually my mom's computer. No, I'm not showing the product key. I, I will make a video on product keys of Windows 10 and all the other, the, once those are working, I've tested them, but I'm not going to show you just yet. So, I have Windows 10 home single language. Now, because this was my mom's laptop and she bought it, that, that I was pretty small that time. So, that's why she just bought it with Word and the operating system installed. She bought it with those. Now, we don't know if this is legal, but I made it legal anyway. But when my mom was using it, and Microsoft just came to their, uh, he came into our house without permission. They could have checked and like put a case on us. That's right. They could have put a case on us, but it's not legal. So I don't think the legal people or the court um, would really do that. Now, if you think that your this uh, your window or your OS is not legal you can for example if Linux if you think it's not legal even though it's free so it'll always be legal but 
still, if you just want to see if it's even more legal or be on the safe side, you know, you should really click on the change product key button. At least in Windows, for one. On Linux, you cannot change your product key because it has no product key. So, yeah, that that's one. But for Windows, if you click on this button, Windows Activation, it'll take you here. At least for Windows 10, your product key, blah, 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 blah. So, and you can also grade. Um, but anyway, let's get back to topic. So, you might not be knowing if it's even, if it's even pirated or not. So, you really, like Microsoft, just tricks you at times. Basically, the company, for mine, example, Sony Wire, um, is, I don't think it is actually, um, been pirated because Sony is a very trusted company so I don't think it's pirated software anyway but I reinstalled it and or upgraded it to Windows 10 that's not the record I use by the way you must be knowing which recorder I use because I've recorded the recorder in the screen a lot of times if that makes sense but um yes so uh, uh so you might not know and Microsoft, some people say, tricks you. Um, now it's pretty much true. Now, no offense Microsoft, but like, if you think about it, I know my background is quite weird. It's just a bunch of numbers. It, it was very, it's very bright. The original picture was not so bright. But um, yeah, so you like Microsoft, some people say tricks you into pirate software and then puts a case on you and asks you for double the money of the software or just ask you to pay for the software after you've been exposed kind of look if you think about it Microsoft is a good company no offense but um I keep forgetting sorry Microsoft first tricks you into getting unpirated software because there's so much in the, on the internet and you might not even know if you're pirated or not but oh yeah and by the way I'm going to start a Roblox series and a Fortnite series very soon but you never know if it's pirated or not you might be using it for a long time and then Microsoft just comes into your house checks it says it's not legal asks you to pay for it even though you had paid it at the office wherever you bought the computer a loss. So Microsoft kind of tricks you because it has so much pirated software that actually works. We use that or we might not even know if it's pirated or not as I told you. And uh, we are into this case. Well, Microsoft is a trusted company though. Most people think it, they will never do that but if you think about it can be possible you never know then um for example also i vmware installed let now i've installed windows 7 start edition on it as you can see here windows 7 it's i have not in start edition but if i power it on and also that is pirated software but that because only is for a uh, use it for use just like that I just wanted to test it out so there's so much pirated software on the, in, on the internet look as an antivirus if you use a normal antivirus there's this very one very old one called NPAV it even has newer versions but I have NPAV 2 or 14 that's right 2000 and 14 that's like four years ago from the date of recording this has um that one if i try to re-enter the product key i i we, my dad bought it so if i try to re-enter that that product key it just won't work and now microsoft even is such even though it's such a big company if you keep re-entering the product key it'll work like on windows 7 start edition even my 
other laptops, I installed um, Office like a thousand times with the same, the exact same product. Okay, not on this. This one is real, but on the other, just just because I wanted to use it like that, I've installed Office 207, 2007, like more than 22 times right now. Even on that Windows 7 starter, I have Office. I mean, it's the same product. Yeah, I've used it a thousand times, and if you use it even two times in an antivirus, it won't work unless you have bought. It won't work unless you have bought another one, or that product key is for three years. Now I agree that they are cracks for those also, but they are cracks, not product keys. Now um, also, if you're trying this out, let me tell you that most of the product keys on the internet are not going to work and even for VMware I mean VMware is a hacked uh, is literally a hacked software nobody buys it because you have so many um I never I can never imagine buying that VMware I can never imagine buying it I mean what buying VMware what just happened what the heck what the heck? Oh, I just zoomed in with this tool called magnifier. But that's pretty cool. Oh god, that's a hand button? You kidding me? What the heck? That's a hand button? It looks bigger than my hand. Like it literally looks bigger than my hand. Oh my goodness, that's a new option, I guess. In um, uh, window, if you click on the Windows button, go down to W in Windows 10. Go to Windows Ease of Access. The first button is Microfile. That's pretty cool. I mean, the speech recognition was that. Oh my goodness! Why do I get so dis distracted? So now, what is where Microsoft is being tricked is. Um, the name but it's a small company where they are just like three girls one businessman the person who started the company and that's all they work on computing so they have real software and one day suddenly Microsoft just sent them a notification saying hey company whatever the company's name was I'm sorry I forgot hey could we please come to your office for um, a genuine test or a genuine checking test? Now they knew they had genuine software, they had bought it. So thus, and they didn't want any extra stuff because they had girls in the office. They didn't want any extra attention. They were already on a little bit up and down. So they said no. I mean, they didn't reply for some reason. Then... After a few days, again, Microsoft sent an email. These emails are by Microsoft, but a person. These, um, so they sent an email, again, asking the same thing. Now, again, they didn't respond. That happened one more time, and then... Then, Microsoft just said, if you do not reply to our mails, we will directly barge into your office and check your computers. Now, they were really mad. I mean, they already had stress on their head. They were going a little bit of loss. And then they didn't want Microsoft coming in. But that would be even more tensious. I mean, that would create even more tension. Now, they said, Sir, please don't send us emails like that. We are a small office. We use genuine products. Production. I don't know what just happened. Why did it? What, what just happened? What just happened? What the heck? Um, yeah, so they said, then they were like, then they, they matter stopped for a few years. And after three years, again, they sent another email. They were getting stressed out already. After a few years, they sent another email. We would like to do the test. Okay, like we would like to do this test. They sent the thing 
the game. They were really mad. I don't actually remember the whole story. I'm really sorry for that. But you get the idea. Then, uh, what, like, Microsoft had bought the company called BMG, I think. So Microsoft bought that company. And it uses for uh, these tests. What the heck? Why is this opening up so many times? My computer's on. By the way. So, Microsoft asked them again. And they were like, after they sent the email like this, then they wanted to tell the police, the, the small company, but they didn't. Just because they thought it was still a little matter, not to wait for the police. Then, no, I'm not reading. I'm not reading. I'm just seeing what's getting this job because I'm getting. I'm just speaking. I'm getting bored. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, no, I did forget. I'm just doing an expression. So, then. I didn't know that my audio was so low. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. But. Wait. Okay, that's perfect. So, but. Then they came in, there were just the girls, no one else. They were working, they were doing their thing. My, uh, my, uh, Microsoft employee just walked in, um, get, got the girl out of the computer. And the girls said, please don't come now, our, our sir is not at home. Uh, actually, that was their home and their office. So, they, the girls were like, please don't come here. We, our, sir is not at, our sir is not here. And, but the employee, the, the employee uh, got to know that it was illegal or maybe he already knew. So, let me just tell the whole story. It's a very interesting one. Indeed. So the employee apologized and that very point he quit his job. That's nice. I mean, person, if you're watching this, it's very, uh, that's really nice of you. You got to know what's illegal and what's legal. But then after a few days, Microsoft, like that person, sent an email from the side of Microsoft, not from his personal email, from the side of Microsoft apologizing for that little issue and they said that they were not spying on you specifically in bold letters what the heck in bold letters saying that we apologize for doing the illegal thing and we were not spying on you we did not check your computer now why did they write we were not spying on you what is spying? First thing, why did they come to only that office? And they, it also said in the mail that there were nine other offices that he had checked this week. They're doing this. It's wrong. So there were more other offices that he had checked. Now, let's see. Why did he write in bold letters that I was, I was not spying on you? We were not spying on you. Why did he do so? What was the reason? Can you tell me? I mean, how will you tell me actually? But what? What? Uh, uh, look at this, guys. It is just automatically typing. I swear I've not just typed this. I just said I was not. And why in the news once has anything like this more? So, what is spying on him? 
because how did they get to know that they had genuine software or not? How? Were they spying? Do they, do, does Microsoft check the details of each and every person? Isn't that wrong? Spying on your data. And then after that, you might not want Microsoft to, of course, you don't want to see your data. Now, you might have Microsoft Office in the same folder as your personal data. I mean, you can't just come to someone's home and check the computer for software. Isn't that the statement I said in the first? It's a conclusion too. But the video is not concluded yet. Well, it's a 20 minute 40, like 20, 21 minute second. About a 20 minute video. It, it can be longer. But, that's right. You should really not use, you can, you sh can allow them, you can not allow them, your wish. It's still your wish, of course. But you should really use general software. Now, it's not only small offices. Why did they not target the other big offices? You never know if they're using pirated or not. Why is it a small office? Now, if you download a lot of gen on general software, like just like me, I do it. And um, Microsoft can just come into your home, like not just, but with the legal confirmation and or the police. They can come to your home. You should really not use genuine software. You can still use it um, on genuine, but I recommend not to. And everyone recommends that. So anyway, I guess that's all for the video. And I guess we can end it. Um, what the flip? Why has it just opened up like four times? And even though I'm not doing anything, what the heck? So anyway guys, I guess that was all, that's all for this video. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed even though you might have not. But I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. By the way, please subscribe to my channel and share my channel. Because I beg you, please share my videos and like it. I will you also comment down that I subscribe shared i will as soon as i start marketing or monetization i will give you your money well my money to you um let's talk about that later thanks for watching please subscribe and i hope to see you in the next